play and call it work. Hey there, Wargamers. Cullen here from MiniWargaming.com to bring you another episode of The Open Vault, the behind-the-scenes style show where I show you guys what is up in the daily life of a mini wargamer. Today is Wednesday, as I normally film these. It is the 26th of April. Wait, April? It's June. What am I talking about? <laughs> and this past weekend was our grand opening. So, I'm not sure when that video is actually going to come out. I finished it yesterday. There should be, if uh, for those of you who couldn't make it, there will be like an, editing mo an edited down montage of some footage we got from the weekend. Uh, a couple people saying hi and uh, j just showing us or showing you guys the fun that we had here on that past weekend, which was very successful. A lot of cake, a lot of food, a lot of people, a lot of fun. Um, so overall, that went pretty successfully. Um, now, I am working on piling through all of the, um, well, I did the edit. That was my past couple days. Um, I've got a bunch of photos that I need to edit. And there's another thing that I have, actually. Oh, I did a couple interviews with um, some of the YouTubers when they were here. So right now, I only have... Um, 40k couple and Miranda, Wargamer Girl, because of time. And uh, I was trying to get actually Aaron um, from Cool Guys Nation, and then that got interrupted and never got back to it. So I'm hoping I can get. Uh, we still have Phil and Doug from Table War. Well, Phil from The Glacial Geek and Table War Doug. So I'm hoping I'll get another interview in with them before the week is through. Um, but I'm just working on getting all the stuff from this weekend done. Um, Luke and I just built a cabinet. And I think that's about it. Um, over here, I'm just, I made the thumbnail for that. So again, I'm not sure. I'm hoping this video went out today, which would be yesterday. But if not, you guys should be seeing this video very soon. It is ready to go. And uh, again, you can see all the fun we had this past weekend. Uh, and then the other thing I have to do this week is I actually have to get Aaron um, up to speed on how to run the computer for the D&D show. Because we are going to be, wait, two weeks off. We are going to be starting back up on this Tuesday, but Rob is away. Um, he's actually, he went out east to see his son out in Nova Scotia, um, actually bring him back home, well, now home, because he's moving here to Ontario, and uh, so he's out there, and I, that means I am in charge of editing for the time being, and Rob will also not be here to run the D&D show. So Aaron's going to have the get up to speed on that and I will be doing some editing from now till next week pretty much because he's gone all throughout and of course this week coming up uh, July 1st is Canada Day so Monday we'll, we, we will be off so we're gonna have a short week next weekend and I think that's kind of up to speed with where we're at at least me and some general stuff so let us take off and head to someone else first off look how clean this room is guys it's never this clean when I show it to you. I always have stuff in here. There's chairs, but we had all of them cleaned up this weekend. And then, and then we had to clean again, obviously after everyone was through. But let's check out who's playing. Open vault. Open vault. Hey. Look, it's a Phil. What? It's a Phil. And a Steve. Oh, what's going on? What's this, Matt? Uh, we were playing Kill Team. I, I wanted to play when we first came up, but things happened. Uh, I'm actually, this is probably my, this is my third game. Third game. It is ridiculously fun. It's really? Fun. To, be, to be fair, I am playing fair. against Phil. To be fair. Makes it way more fun. Oh yes. Oh yes. And I've been playing him every chance I get. If you <laughs> haven't seen Phil's YouTube channel, it is The Glacial Geek. You have to check it out. You are doing something a plug. Dis you are doing something a disservice if you like Warhammer Bat Revs and you don't watch his. Because they are the best. And he's wearing a Luca inspired shirt <laughs> today. <laughs> Taco Cat. That's so good. Yeah. I haven't even seen Luca wear that one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so this is actually ridiculous. What fun. kind of teams? I was going to say war bands, but I guess they're teams. Yes. Yeah, I guess they are teams. Yes. Are we uh, running here? I've been playing Primaris Raven Guard because my practice game yesterday, when Matt was uh, showing my, me how to play, I played Orcs and didn't really seem great. <laughs> okay. Uh, Primaris seemed really powerful. Though no spoilers, obviously. Yes. Uh, not so much in every game. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Maybe your guys die. And uh, putting his death watch this time. Yeah. So check those out. So I'm gonna do a quick little flyover. Yeah. It's a ton of fun. 
like, we're playing on camera, so things are a little slower than I would expect to be off camera, but you can play this game really fast. Yeah, if you're just playing with your friends, like, half hour, 45 minutes, you can bang out a game. I, I, so I over, over lunch, yeah. you can just nice. pop it out there. Are we talking and, five, six models? Well, I have four in my 100-point kill team. I have wow. Six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but then you can have like Imperial Guard, which has like twenty, and you can do more than and that. That's the you cap, can right? Twenty is the cap for a team. Interesting. So, but it just varies what you what you want to run and what you want to do with them. But nice. I can't believe um, I took so long to well things way they are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, I want to plug something else. So we're we're, we're covering this. Um, you know what? I probably should be prepared for this, but I wasn't actually thinking about that. I wasn't actually thinking about it. But we're actually doing, I believe it's September. Yep, September. We're doing, you know what it is? I do. Don't play those better than me, actually. I've heard, I've heard about it from many <laughs> people. So yeah, so they're, in September, Mini Wargaming's doing their narrative kill team event that they'll be having here. So you can yes. sign up for that. Uh, the information, I think, is it's on Facebook, it's on Facebook, Facebook for sure. And, and we'll have more videos coming Yeah, I, I think the tickets are on Eventbrite. Okay. And Eventbrite? Yeah, and, the, and I think that uh, Matt said there's a video coming out. Look, if, you, if you can't... Or maybe, I don't know when it's If happening. you're interested in coming and hanging out here for a week and playing this and you can't find the information online, you email myself or support at minimarming.com and we'll, we'll guide you where you need to go. Sure. But I want a whole bunch of people there because this is ridiculous. It's fun. a ton of fun. Really, really love Kill Team. And the best part about... The thing I like about Kill Team versus other skirmish games is that you can play with your other models. So the yeah. models that you already have for Warhammer 40k, you can use in this one, and it's just, it's a ton of fun. And it's like, you know, cool. throw down with five, four or five models, play it 45 minutes, and then the thing is, it's like, you know, if you have a game where your dice are just not with you, and you've done a full 2,000 point game, it just becomes grueling, and you're like, well, there goes three, four hours of my life that I'm never getting back, because it was just not fun with all those dice rolls. This one, the dice go poor on you, Half an hour later, you're like, let's re-rack and try that again. And then all of a sudden, the dice might come back. You know, who knows? But it doesn't feel quite as uh, as, as soul-sucking with you when the <laughs> dice abandon you. <laughs> Two things I really love with this is, one, now I can go upstairs, buy a box of Fire Wars or whatever, and have a whole new kill team. Yeah, exactly. I love the idea. I love having more time, more bands, tons of them in the box. Yep. Now I can have a ton of kill teams. Yeah. But more than that, like, we're playing uh, ten, 10 malls in this game. Yeah. And yet, it still feels like playing Warhammer. Yeah. Nice. Because it's, really it's a lot of the rules are, if you play, play Warmer, you go in this. Like, I was actually going to say, well, how are the rules similar to 8th, or are they? It feels far more like Warhammer than Mordheim ever did to Fantasy, and I love Mordheim and Fantasy, yeah. right? Oh, okay. So it is cool, like, it, it's, it's different. Yeah, but it's like alternating, yeah, like there's alternating activations yeah. for shooting and the fighting, uh, and some of the different rules get tweaked in this game, like, you know, for instance, I know I play Gene Steeler Cult, so, like, Aberrants don't get their field no pain, but they still reduce the damage, things like that. There, okay. there are slight differences yeah. that they have, like the, uh, you have the, uh, there's like the, what is it, the, the sniper, yeah, yeah, the sniper guy, like the Phobos uh, sniper guy, he's, uh, one he can still shoot things that he doesn't see, but it's, uh, but it has to hit on sixes. Yeah. So it's, there's certain things that they use to balance the fact that you've only got ten models on the board to, to play it out, but it's still, it's still a ton of fun. Okay. And similar, if you know 40k, you'll be able to pick this up pretty yeah. quickly. Nice. It's awesome. It's awesome. Everybody can play. <laughs> Wonderful. Do it. Well, we're definitely going to be doing some coverage of it. I know you filmed it, or you're filming it right now. I'm filming it right now. Yeah. Uh, Matthew yeah. and Luca filmed? Matthew and or you Vito did, filmed. I filmed with Vito. You filmed with Vito. So there will be more Kill Team coverage other That's than just this. <laughs> so <laughs> We'll go for it and uh, support it when it comes out. For sure. We'll keep doing it. Yeah. Awesome possum. Awesome possum. All, right. All right. Well, I will leave you guys to it. All right. Enjoy the rest of your open ball. I will. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. And then we got one more game. Did I walk by? Nope. Okay, it's down here. I was like, I think there's one more. There's actually two more. Oh, waiting for Vito. Did Vito hear it? Hmm. I don't hear anything. Hello, hello. It's an open vault. Hey what is up, friends? Ooh, what are we setting up for? Second uh, video? Second video, and we are doing the year meeting engagement. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, so we, we got a... 2019 General's Handbook AOS. So what do we got? Uh, interesting table setup. We got it. Is this cut in half? Yeah, so it's yeah. cut in half. It's like a 30 by 36 and 40 by 48, if I'm not mistaken. And we've got like a winter kind of um, cottage retreat. But I don't know who would want to set up when the uh, Daughters of Cain and the uh, Skaven are fighting each other out. Oh, we got some dirty rat people. The dirty rat I'm gonna, people. I'm going to fly over just to see your guys' armies. Because you haven't started, so there's no spoilers here. Yeah, no spoilers for a second. So I kind of fly over some clan rats, some scryer shooting, it looks like. And 
Some, uh, I don't, I don't even know what to call your stuff, Vito. Some ladies with knives. Yeah, it's, it's essentially, well then there's a little bit of men. Yeah, trying oh. out the, uh, Doomfire Warlocks. Over here? Yeah. Nice, okay. The only really men that are in the army. <laughs> Other than that, it's, uh, just the daughters of Cain. Just the, the daughters of Cain. And this is, uh, Chance, by the way. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Coming uh, down to play some Skaven. Always. Uh, Skaven and, uh... Also some 40k later. Okay, cool. Uh, you down for how many days? Uh, three. Nice, okay. Sweet, sweet. And where'd you come from? Uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I cannot tell by your voice and your accent. <laughs> <laughs> I heard right. it's quite noticeable. A little bit. I feel weird because now I'm filming the other side and we don't ever film this way. It's true. We, you, everyone sees the, the, the door. And it's so obviously just blackness. <laughs> Hence death, I suppose. <laughs> right? There you go. It doesn't need a whole realm portal. It just takes you into the real world. Right. But yeah, we're uh, setting up for our second game. It's Chance's first time uh, playing meeting engagement. Okay. And it's kind of fun. Uh, it, it gives us the ability to not only play two games, but uh, we can think a lot um, more tactful, tactfully mm -hmm. uh, with AOS, playing with a lot less models. Um... It's still pretty bloody. Yeah. Um, we played one of the objectives where it's just literally just one objective on the middle of the board. Um, so it swung a little bit more to one person's favor. Mm -hmm. Not giving out any spoilers. But now we're going to pick uh, one of the more other um, objectives where it's going to be a, hopefully a little bit more balanced game. So. Okay. And how many meeting engagements have you actually played, Vito? Because you've been doing a little <laughs> bit of it, right? Yeah. Uh, I've done, I think, maybe... Eight games of it. Okay. I was a little apprehensive at first. Uh, the first two games, I wasn't a really a big fan of it. Because now this is new rules from the General's Handbook 2019. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of it at first. I think I gave it like a six or seven out of ten. Mm -hmm. um, but the more I play it, the more I definitely do enjoy it. Cool. Yeah. Able to actually figure out some of the nuances of how it kind of plays. Yeah, it, it's definitely a new way of playing the game. Whereas you know, you just throw out your entire army and then you smash face. Um, this one, it's you build your, <coughs> excuse me, you build your army, and then you separate that army essentially into three different armies. Your interesting. Your van, your main, and then your rear guard. Or okay. Your spearhead, your main. So your showing rear up guard. at different times, then. Essentially, yeah. Um, generally, your spearhead comes on right at the beginning of the game. Turn one, your main body. And then by turn two, your rear guard comes on. Interesting. Yeah, yeah de definitely. I don't think we've seen anything really like that other than like using reserves and stuff for kind of. Exactly. Having this walking on kind of feeling. Yeah, but it could be really cool too because there's some missions where um, your spearhead comes on, but then your opponent's rear guard comes on. Oh. So it really, like, it, it really comes down to list building. Cool. Yeah. Just gives you another thing to think about. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. So we're just going to throw down right now for our second game. Alrighty, well, I'll leave you to it then. Alright, buddy. Enjoy. Hey, everyone. Bye bye. And then our last. We're just down the hallway here to check out what Dave is up to. Just rolling. Waiting for the. Go ahead. Is it a double knock kind of day, too? Open vault. Hello, hello. Whoa, 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 what's up? Not so, much. What here do we, we got, got going on here? From Table War, as you can see, it's a Table War kind of day. This is a sneak peek. This hasn't been released yet, so we're doing a campaign uh -oh. right now. The Angel and the Serpent. This Ooh. mat that you're looking at right now, we'll show it off briefly. It's a, it's a specific mat that Doug is actually designed for this campaign. Doug wow. Green, he is the creator of the fat mats. So this is very special for us here. And this terrain awesome. looks fantastic. It's awesome. awesome. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Uh, right now, this is a campaign written by Miles Drake, the Black Library author. And uh, this is one of three mats available in this set because this is the airfield. We also have the blasted bunker. And then there's the kill team mat. It's a blasted airfield. That's the technical name of this it. This is, yeah, blasted airfield. We have blasted bunkers and we have the actual bunker kill team. The yeah. actual, actual bunker kill team. Yeah, and hmm. we played on the other two. So this is the third game, third mat that we're playing on. And it's, it's super fun. This game is really tense because of how close it is and uh, nervousness. And so I don't know who's going to win. I can't tell by looking. 
The, the last two games were awesome, especially game number two. That was a kill team game, and that was, I will say no more. I'll yeah, I, I'm just seeing Doug kill analyze team. the board. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm still <laughs> without the board because there, there's, a, there's a lot of armor on this board yeah. for my not-so-strong shooting. Oh, no, you're you're shooting. But I'm, do, I'm doing okay. Just, I'm doing okay. Just de as he just killed a land raider, that's what he's saying. So <laughs> we'll see. Of course. We'll see how it goes. He's. I guess you're just not used to this much armor that you're fighting against. That's, that's what I'll say. Well, I am, but like usually I'll bring more tank busting. More DACA? More, no, more tank busting. More tank busting. Okay. I only have the one little tiny There's tank only tank one busting. tiny one unit that I won't tell kill you the, a titan. That's I won't, just I won't, the one. Yeah, yeah, I won't yeah, tell you the so, rest, but there it is. Yeah, that's good. So that's what it is. So stay tuned for this. This cool. will be re released relatively soon. I'll say relatively. I don't know the exact date, but it's going to be awesome. You gave me an exact date. Wonderful. Uh, I don't remember. That's why I'm saying relative. Okay. <laughs> uh, it'll be soon. Okay. Yeah. That's not something everyone can look forward to. Yes. Yep. Last peak. There you go. Have fun. <laughs> and I'm off. Enjoy. Who just... Someone hit... Someone's going this way. I'm going to follow them. So, I don't think there's anything new in here. I know there's been a couple updates for the past couple weeks. Not so much here. <gasps> That's who it was. He's, He's everywhere. everywhere. And we're gonna head up stairs to the offices, the bunker, the store, and whatnot. And into Max Aggression we go. Hello, hello everyone. Hey. What's up? We got Ben, Dan, and Mike here. What is hey, up, Mike. friends? It's going. Models. Yeah. Models. Look yeah. at that, eh? We're doing contrast paints. What, what is this dropper bottle action? Uh, oh yeah, those square, are uh, six queer studios. Yeah, my friend Kevin does them. Yeah, so these are amazing. They're great. They're so good. It comes with a rack and everything. Oh. But I rode my bike here, so I didn't have enough. Room so it's like a pack. full. You can take all of your Citadel paints and put them into those. There's a funnel yeah. in there too. There's wow. Here's the little balls yeah. in there. Nice. Yeah. So it's not bad. So if you if you want to drop a bottle, awesome. GGW paints, guys. Max, Max aggression gaming. gaming. Yeah. Or go on sixsquared.com. No, they come to Max Aggression <laughs> Studios. <laughs> Never mind. Come studio. on, what are we selling? We want friends. <laughs> I got a restock that was pretty massive too recently. Yeah, I see the new shelf is here. And the APOC stuff I ordered t today was Ooh, yeah, atomic. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got Apocalypse to look forward to, of course, coming up very soon. Ooh, wait. Movement trades too. All different kinds nice. of Nice. Six square ones. Which, again, with Apocalypse coming up, could be. A super important thing. They got Glass all kinds markers. of terrain. Yep. That's nice. The the craters always need a couple of those. Yeah. You got some barrels, yeah. crates, barriers. More terrain down in the bottom there too. Yeah. Who More made stuff. The heaviest game ever made. The heaviest <laughs> game ever made. Yeah, you can kill someone with that. Yeah. <laughs> you throw it through a death by a game. window <laughs> easily. That's definitely a good marketing. But yeah, if standard. anyone's going to stay at the bunker and they're upstairs and they want something, any of you guys ever. You just email me, message me, call me, whatever. Look online, you'll see my number and stuff. It's 905-359-2227. And I will get you whatever you need. If it's the release day you're coming, I'll get it for that day. No worries. Wow, that's super cool. Yeah. So yeah, if, if you're coming up and you know something's dropping that weekend, uh, give Dan a call. Yeah, I've seen that happen a lot already. Okay. It's good, like a lot of APOC stuff and those new, uh, what are they called? Scorpius, Admech. Oh, the, oh the, yeah. the new um, D-Day landers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of those coming. I got, oh, man. That's perfect. Buy something from your storm. Bring it upstairs. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. And they have the whole setup. They got, like, yeah, yeah, they got all the tools yeah, you got there, clippers all the and paints and all everything. that stuff upstairs. Yeah. So you, you, you're not going to have an issue with getting it. You want to make it and you want to be able to play it and say, play with your mate and you come with in the gaming hall. Yeah. You have the option of doing it there because oh, it's yeah. all upstairs for you. For sure. And that is super fantastic getting, like, you thought Dan will get you anything in. Like, <laughs> uh, already, no worries. This is the reason when I came in today was to pick some stuff up that Dan had grabbed for me. More, Perfect. More Titanicus stuff. So. Oh, yeah, Titanicus, yes. Such awesome. I still have that Grandmaster, too. <laughs> yeah, it was. How have you not sold? Like, I don't know. That is such an amazing value box. I'm surprised yeah. you still have that. It's good. For one, a power, too. Is one good. more. Wow. Oh, those extra large cases? Uh, I'm buying one uh, of those. Yeah. Those are dope. Yeah. Those are, they fit four nights. So if they're saying wow. they fit four nights, yeah. that means there's way more room. Like, <laughs> that, that's not a tight four nights, no, right? It's not no, like four nights comfortably. Yeah, comfortably, not magnetized. It's yada, deep, yada. though. It's really yeah. deep. Oh, it's yeah. like three or I four nights. Like, like, I, I did so consider them, but yeah. like for Titanic, I think I want a magnetic case. Maybe yeah, a something like that. Something small, like that. Table War is really good for that stuff, mm -hmm. too. And I was talking to a buddy there uh, at the grand opening. 
that's some stuff I'm going to pick up soon too. Cool, cool. A nice. lot of that jazz. Bunch of stuff to look forward to. Yep. Oh yeah. I'm going to leave you guys to your paints and Bye. have fun. Toodles. Here's the new shelf that we just put in. Ooh, glass case. I think um, right now Dave is saying the word, word bears need to go in here, but Luke is being super depressed because um, that means every time he wants to get them, he needs to pull them out of the shelf. So I'm thinking that we should put some campaign important miniatures in here. You know, the Death Watch Warband, the Death Watch Warbands, uh, maybe some important stuff from the narratives, some of the important special characters and villains. I know we've got some special models that Lee has kit bashed over the years. Um, so I think that's what we should put in there, but you know, that's my opinion. I don't, I don't have final say, let's be honest. Up to the offices. Now, before I go in there, um, Matthew is not here. Rob's on vacation, Lee's on vacation. Aaron is out. And I think uh, that's the update on people, so. Hey, look. Look who's up here now. Uh, copyright claim. Please turn off the music. I'm talking. I didn't know you were coming in. My computer's frozen. No. Uh, uh, there we go. I'm just going to yell over the copyrighted music. Yeah, that works. So there was loud noises and yelling, so Mike walked in. Now he's walking away because there's no more yelling. Well, I'll try to but I didn't want to interrupt you. Can you pass that? Yeah, it's, it's it's an open vault. You can interrupt. Is that, is that printed? Where is that? You, you, you need tape? Yeah, I need tape. Like like what kind of tape? Like uh, any kind of tape that I can stick with something. Like like packing tape or? Yeah, that would work. Yeah, do you have you, wait, you need to stick something with tape? Isn't that what well, tape help, does? Well, try to help D stick something to a wall. So I mean, yeah. So double sided yeah. tape? Yeah. Any kind of tape? Any kind of tape? Do you just want to use the double sided tape? I mean, free, free pasta. Yeah. 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 Wow. In the fridge. Wow, oh, there's gonna be free pasta mask. in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. So you need some tape. Uh, free pasta. Uh, okay. My tape. Do you want to use the double-sided tape on my desk? Oh. It's, was it right? It I wasn't there before, was it? Was it really? Where else would it be, Mike? Or did you just put it there without? Yeah, no, I just put it there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm walking away. This is, this is what I need. <laughs> uh, oh, the interactions yeah. of mini, mini wargaming. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty awesome. <laughs> so yes, um, that Steve entertained them. Entertain the, I, we already who, did. the viewers. Okay, so I, I don't know about the viewers, but I just learned something. According to the YouTube Terms of Services, uh, you can play copyrighted music as long as somebody goes, ah! <laughs> yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Loud yeah. noises. That's how that works. That is. Ah! That's, how, that's how the law works. <laughs> it's the law. The, the law. law. It's the internet law. <laughs> Anything interesting in Josh's life worth uh, mentioning? I've, I've finished putting together all the custody stuff I have, so I gotta get that painted now. Cool. Um, I don't know who I'm gonna have painted, but I'm gonna find somebody to paint it. Survive. Where are the hotel rooms sitting at now that we've had a grand opening? I know we did a big push to get those ready because we had the YouTubers staying in them. Yep, um, so the test run went really, really well. Um, so we're still gonna do, we're gonna do a landing page so that people can come like get all the information about the actual uh, rooms themselves. Rooms, got, prices, all that right. jazz. So as it stands right now, um, with the guests that had already booked games, um, mm -hmm. I'm starting to talk to some of them about booking some rooms here and there. We haven't opened it up fully, but then uh, tomorrow evening I'm talking with the company. We're, we're like 90, probably what, 90 percent of the way done everything, but um, things like the rental agreement, and a couple of the other, you know, small legalities. Um, we have an outside consulting firm that we're going to talk to about that, mm -hmm. just to get everything kind of wrapped up. So that happens. The first bit of that happens tomorrow evening, because um, we're filming this on Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we're pretty good with it. Um, but yeah, people have been contacting me, and I've been kind of very softly booking people in, saying like I'll set this time aside for you. So that's kind of what I've been working through over the past two days. Is talking with people that expressed interest previously. Okay. So, uh, let's say next week, can I take the open vault viewers upstairs? Oh, uh, if you want to take viewers upstairs, yeah, we can just go upstairs like now if you want. Okay, I just... I thought you meant for like people staying in the rooms. Well, no, no, well, well that, that too, because I know... No. I, 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 I know uh, that'll be no, a question. No, no, the open you want to see, see, you see the glacial <laughs> geeks dirty room you stay in? I'm pretty sure that's against the YouTube terms of service. <laughs> Yell, uh, <laughs> 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 ah, look, all feels dirty. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> um, but yeah, we can go up after and take a look at a couple of the rooms if you want. Okay, sweet. Because yeah. uh, I know some hey, people have been know, asking. How clean are the rooms right now? Uh, are they like awful? Yeah. No. Like, oh, okay, good. Like, yeah, you yeah. might go up with the camera and take a look at a couple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the beds aren't made, but. Oh, that's okay. No, they're really nice. They can imagine they're beds made. Comfy. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you that. That way Cullen can lay in the bed and video from there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's open vault after dark. <laughs> Cullen in bed. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just nothing but snoring. <laughs> I know, you know, you talk in your sleep, don't you? I don't Isn't think so. Adepticon? Isn't that you? <laughs> I called out on camera. <laughs> Was it him who talked in his sleep? No, I think I answered you in your sleep or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Steve's, Steve's got food in his mouth. But he's got an answer. Colin dances in his sleep. Okay. That's right, Colin dances. Yeah. Yeah. Colin's a dancer. Josh talks in his sleep. <laughs> they have like full on conversations, but they're also a little bit gibberish. <laughs> well, because you guys were talking about something and I replied back to it. Okay, okay so I, I bumped with Chris, and his snoring is ridiculously loud. Yeah. It's not as bad as Dancy McGee and talking. <laughs> I'll take the snoring. That's, that's fine. Come for the guy who sleeps on the floor. Just leave me peaceful on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you just there's like a Steve dead on the floor? I'm comfortable on the floor. I, I think so. I can't remember, we dropped, we, I think Cullen and I walked over to drop stuff off in the room, because you were still over the conference for Adepticon, and somebody like saw the mess on the floor and thought like we had a dog staying in the room. <laughs> it, was like, it was Steve's like little nest. <laughs> yes. On the side of the, one of the beds. Yep. And then I think there was another night where we mentioned somebody you sleeping on the floor, and somebody didn't believe us. But you were crashing in there, and they noticed your feet, and then freaked out. <laughs> I, 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 I can be very comfortable before it doesn't bother me. I wasn't gonna share a bed with you guys. Yeah, I, the before really doesn't bother me so much. Yeah, well that makes sense. I got enough room to stretch it. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I forgot that. Yeah, yours is the dancing thing. Yeah, we're not. We're just not gonna talk about that. <laughs> no, but see, see, you, no, no, it's you actually weird. reminding me about the certain blanket we talked about back then. And I want to buy one. I couldn't for, for all the weighted one. blanket. Yeah, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to look online. Nice. Are they for the call? Weighted blankets. Yep. Yeah. Sleeping. Colin recommended them. Nice. Yeah. I don't know they were a thing, but yeah, it's been some money. Amazon. They're 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 as much as you would expect a weighted blanket to cost. I don't know how much I expect. <laughs> I mean, where did you shop for and buy yours? Knock it off, Josh. What? No, no, Christmas? No, no, don't even respond. Don't even respond. Weightedblankets.ca. Christmas. <laughs> um, well, th th this has been riveting. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's like two so people that love this. viewers that are still with Right? <laughs> he's like, he's just standing there. Um, I, like I, to to you, I feel yeah. like I should go talk to Chris, and then, and then we'll go look at some rooms. So yeah. I'm going to slowly leave this room. Bye. Bye. And oh, then we're going to, yeah. <laughs> And then we're gonna we're, we're gonna get Josh after we talk to Chris, and uh, check out what's up. Um, ooh, wait, Luca's building something in here. Luca, are you not even in here? But I see pieces to something he's building, cause he's not filming today. So he's. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. You are the worst. Ah, uh, now I want to watch the video and see if I can see you like you under the could. table. Oh! I hate you. What are you building? Okay, well I am building a critical shelf. Storage cabinet. Yep. Yeah. Or sorry, cabinet. Is it gonna go like there? I'm just building. Uh, I know it's going in here somewhere. So on, on some wall, probably. On some wall, probably right there. And do you know what's going to be stored in said cabinet? No. Awesome. I was, it's, it's kind of one of those days, just like, oh, we ordered like 82 things, build them all. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, geez, okay. Yeah. So this one is pretty basic looking to build, actually. You don't have too many pieces, it looks like? No, and the, the instructions are always a good giveaway. It's just uh, front and back side. Awesome. That's always nice. This is worse when you pick up a, a novel. Yes. Yes. Well. That's super this exciting is, over this here. Is, right? Man, this is some Twitch stream material right now. Yeah, 100%. Luca builds cabinet. Build cabinet. It's a thing people I do. Have to, I have to flip that, actually. 
So okay, I'll get to flipping that later. <laughs> Sweet. And, you know, to be fair, the instructions aren't very clear. It's, it's, it's very much like, it's, it's more text instructions and like very- Oh, it's not, it's not so diagram based? It's very weak diagram based. Yikes. Yeah. Especially when you've got like, this part has a lip. And you're like, which side? Do exactly. I do lip forward, lip backward? Pretty sure I gotta flip the bad boy because that's the back side, and then those are the sides. So it would make more sense if the side was coming in. And I can't quite pick it up. You know what? Whatever. It's, it's, <laughs> it's down there. Now. It's, it's down. Yeah, and this, it's like suctioned to the ground, unfortunately, because by next open game, vault, it like, might actually be finished. I don't know. It could still be right here. Yeah. Uh, ideally, I'll be the one building it, so I'll, it'll be done. Just because if I don't get it done, then I'll just have to get it done tomorrow. Yep. Or the next day. <laughs> It'll either way still end up your problem. Yes, this is, <laughs> this is my problem until it is done. Exactly. This is the rule of thumb here. So uh, I'll get this done before the end of the day, uh, ideally. Good stuff, good stuff. And then back to recording tomorrow. We good stuff. Alrighty, well, I'll head out. Bye bye, Luca. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the scare. I did not enjoy it. You're the worst. I can't believe it worked. It worked. Ah. I'm just salty now. <laughs> and we're gonna go see what Chris is up to. Oh. What up, Mike? Oh, hello. What is Mike up to? I am just looking at all the posts for Work in Progress Wednesday. Work in Progress Wednesday? Yeah, it's a new, uh, I was kind of like, just thinking like, hey, how can I get people to send more pictures of stuff? Mm -hmm. So uh, I started Work in Progress Wednesday, and on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, people can share their works in progress on Wednesday. Well, and I'll repost their stuff on Wednesday. So okay, yeah. so how would somebody share? So now, yeah, so this is people are gonna share photos with you, and then every Wednesday you're gonna post some of those photos. Yeah, maybe like one or two. I don't know. I'll okay. Look through all. This so stuff. people want to submit for that. They just use hashtag MWGWIP. Okay, so at the end of your photos, just add and include that hashtag? hashtag? Yeah, uh, wherever you're sharing it on, so if you're on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, just put, again, yeah, hashtag uh, MWGWIP, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll come to me, and I'll look, take a look at it. So, Wonderful. Yeah. So that's going to be Mike's new Wednesday task, is scrolling yeah, through. Know, I'm thinking like Throwback Thursday, I don't know, I'm just going through all that, I think that's like overplayed. Right? Oh, I think, yeah, everyone does a Throwback Thursday, so, right? If you have any ideas of like, what I should do on different days. I'm Hopefully with alliteration involved. Yeah, something easy that people can share. That's, mm -hmm. that's, I think that's the only point towards it, right? Because, like, work in progress Wednesday, why not? Like, it's just whip. MWG whip. Yep. So, yeah, that makes sense. Ideas, let me know, and uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. Okay. And, yeah, feel free to put anything down in the comment section. Yep. And, uh, I'll take a look. Yeah, definitely. Take MWG Mike. <laughs> there you go. Get that hashtag trending. <laughs> We're going to come in here for Chris. What's up? Not much. What you got going on? Uh, a beast of Nurgle, what it looks like? beast of Nurgle. Yeah. Uh, gonna be a quick tip. Just been uh, playing around with the contrast and not really showing anything in particular, just kind of putting contrast through its paces and just... Just actually using them, trying to see what you can come up with? Well, I mean, not really see what to come up with. It's just more or less just kind of demonstrating that you know, of, of pushing color and, you know, just kind of what you can do with these kind of things. And so I'm just really just doing, um, there's not really a lot of mixing going on. It's just straight application of the color, but, mm -hmm. you know. I see, uh, like, the, I'm assuming you tried something where you, or again, the fade between the colors there. Yeah, like, there's, like, on the flesh here, like, well, like, at the belly and his, and the rest of them, there are one, two, three... Four or five colors going on. Wow. Yeah, to get all that. Okay, so yeah, the more I'm looking at it, the more I can kind of see where you've been laying down certain colors. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so it's just been, uh, you know, having fun and, uh, you know, just kind of demonstrating, you know, what you can do with these colors and really like... Um, more than just the put a base coat on, right? Now, now you're trying yeah, to push it. more than just kind of slapping it on. Now we're going to try and be a little bit more deliberate and we're going to use the colors... Um, not as intended, but what you can do with the transparency of these colors and, you know, just kind of, it's outside the norm of what a lot of people are used to as far as how we, how we paint our models. And so it's just mm -hmm. a little bit of, 
Just demonstrate. Like, like glazing just, techniques and stuff like that? Uh, it's not so much glazing, no. It's, okay. Yeah, it's different. Uh, but it, it's really achievable. It's super easy. Uh, I've shown it in a hundred other videos before, but we're going to use it here. It's, it's just really just brush technique. And, you know, that's it essentially. And, uh, yeah, so it, that's going to be a little fast little series I'm going to do just kind of beginning to end. Uh, just kind of, you know, showing like the flesh, the tentacles, doing some details. And, of course, we're going to, you know, mix it in with some conventional type stuff. I think maybe, I don't know, maybe go contrast the whole way. Who knows? Because, I mean, with the contrast, you can, you can do just about everything with the contrast. Mm -hmm. So I might just end up just sticking entirely with contrast. It would be really cool to see someone take a lot of time and see really what you can pull off, right? Yeah, like that is not very fast to do just because I was laying down big layers and then I was, you know... Letting them fully dry. Fully dry, apply another layer, let it fully dry, apply another layer, fully dry. But the beauty of doing that is that <clears throat> normally when you're laying that many layers across the broad surface like that, usually that starts, <laughs> excuse me, starts to build up on the model. Whereas with contrast, because of the way they, they dry pretty thin, like the tech, the details are all still there. And so, yeah. Wonderful. It's a lot of fun, but yeah. So that's all I've been working on. Uh, I'm just getting the uh, video edited up uh, for the first part here and then. Okay. So people will start seeing that soon as well. It probably will go up the same day as this video. So yeah. So tomorrow? That's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll say tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you're watching this video, go to the other mini wargaming videos and see Chris's video because it should be out by now. And if it's not, get mad at Chris. Get mad at Chris. <laughs> we'll see if we can get that hashtag trending. <laughs> get mad at Chris. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later, Chris and Mike. Yeah, uh, so also oh. the official bunker grand opening video will be up this weekend as well. So. Let's go, oh, sorry, it'll be up. On the weekend? I'm going to either Friday or Saturday. Okay. I'm not sure yet. Uh, whatever. I don't know the exact content that's going to be on Friday, so I'm going to look at that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it, it'll be this weekend, though. So All righty. Look forward to that. Uh, yeah, I you mentioned did a great job, by the way. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really cool. Yeah, I mentioned that I did it this weekend, but I wasn't sure when it was coming out. So there you go. Now you guys know. All right, guys. I'm going to slide right out. And... All right. Now we're going to go bother Josh. And uh, I'll cut the camera here, and we'll, we'll, we'll go outside. We are outside with Josh. Hello. But uh, I think I just want to mention that the outside of our building has been painted and that door that was there is now completely plastered over. So it's just Dan's store. It's a nice thing. His signs are up. Things are good and this is where the bunker is. Or the, the bunker room. So now we're going to head upstairs. And you're going to start seeing what is up as Josh gets distracted by a random on the street. So we got some nice artwork up here. I apologize if it's very echoey, because it will be. And as we turn around, boom! There is a Sister of Battle, placed nicely, right at the top of the stairs. I think that's super cool. And uh, now Josh is locked out. We're gonna come through here. Turn on the lights. Josh is having nice conversations with the residents of Welland. Oh yeah, what? I'm just holding the door open, and all okay. right. The rooms we can go into, we can go into the officer suite. All right. Which so, is going to be the officer's quarters shortly. Oh, we're changing the name? Yes, it just sounds better. That, that is true. So here we have the Imperial officer's quarters. And again, we're going to apologize that the beds aren't made. Um, we just had people in here this past weekend. Correct. So here's what we're looking at here. So you got a big TV. You got a full desk here. You got your supplies there and microwave dresser. There is a Keurig. You don't get a step stool. <laughs> you can try requesting it. Um, more artwork. They have these cabinets nicely built to fit in here. That fits the fridge, some shelving, big bed with the Aquila, of course, above the bed. Yep, so queen size bed in here. Into the golden throne. The golden throne. The bathroom, of course. And about all the bathrooms are about this size, right? Uh, some the, are a little bit bigger, some are a little bit smaller, some are different shaped. But everything's about the same Probably in the bathrooms? The same, yeah. Okay, but this is the biggest room um, for, or biggest room with one bed. Correct, yeah. And then we head down this way. I don't think I put anybody in here yet. Uh, nah. The orc hut? Yes. Look at this. 
you're gonna recognize this stuff. And oh, the air conditioning's on in this room. Yes. And it is quite nice. So these all came from the old Oak studio. Yeah, basically we took the old Oak studio and everything that didn't fall apart when we took it off the wall ended up in here. Yeah, and uh, so that's been plastered up on here. Again, a little cabinet that fits right in between with your uh, your fridge there. Is there no microwave in this guy? No microwave in this one, no. Okay. And Only the big rooms have the microwaves and the carrings. Okay. Because it's the only rooms that have the room for them. And of course, bathroom. And, and that's just about that. Yeah, so it's a little slightly different setup for the shower here. But you get the little bench that you can sit and cry after, oh, you, nice. after you, you lose all your games. <laughs> you can have a good shower cry with orc art, orc art, of course. Where else in the world can you do that? <laughs> yeah. Here, get that light. Uh, uh, uh. Out we go, hopefully into another nice air-conditioned room. Uh, I got one more I can show you because those two are occupied right now. We got Phil and Doug staying in them. So the barracks, the bathroom isn't attached, but the bathroom for the barracks is right there. And then uh, it's kind of a mess in here. So if you want to get a little behind the scenes look. And this we're is putting it back together. what the barracks look like. So of course, taking in for like the army barracks idea, you've got your two bunk beds, but then you do have much more space this way yep. than the other rooms. So you got a full couch, with a little corner unit, you have much more cabinet space, the, the big TV, the microwave, the Keurig. You also get a little table over here with, again, the painting supplies and things. And uh, there's a cabinet there. You want to? Yeah, it's right back in here. Again, this is just like our storage cabinet, though. Okay. Because there's uh, under bed storage. I don't know if you can see them too well, but yeah, I'll let, uh, the cage can get pulled in. You get by here. And we're still working out wh what's going to be our storage, what's going to be guest storage. We get to yield cases underneath. There's two underneath each bunk bed. I call them lobster pots. Or lobster pots, yeah. Because they look like lobster pots. And uh, yeah, so all uh, that's all the storage. And again, I guess you, you said you're still just figuring out what's going to go where. Yeah, because the cabinetry just got put in. So it's back and forth if we're going to take our supplies and put them underneath the bed and the cabinets for the guests or vice versa. Okay. So we're working out a couple of the last few little kinks. There's a table there. Yep, I walked into it. Yeah. I think uh, Dave mentioned that all of these posters are all actually custom designed. I think so, yeah. I, I think you had uh, commissioned somebody to do them, so like that one and that one. You will not see these guys anywhere else. We've got the blinds, if you notice in all the other rooms as well, all the blinds are even themed. So it is uh, quite something up here. It's a pretty cool setup. I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out. So yeah, the wheels are turning. We're like right on the precipice of fully opening up the bookings. Um, and as with everything else, it's all about kind of managing people's expectations and making sure everybody has a good time. Because mm -hmm. I just don't want to open up the floodgate and be like, yeah, everybody stay here. We'll figure it out as we go. Yeah, like, every, doesn't work. Everyone's going to have a chance to stay here anytime they need to come and yeah. all that stuff. And it'll so, never be full and all these. Well, yeah, the idea is, yeah, I'm just making sure we're doing the proper due process for bookings, cancellations. Um, obviously, I mean, they're nice rooms, so trying to figure out the best way to do deposits in case something gets damaged or anything else like that. And just, yeah, all those little non-fun details. So all the fun details have been taken care of. Now, it's, you know, I'm wrapping up the last few non-fun details. The red tape, as they call it. Yes. Yes. The fun stuff. But yeah, that's it. Cool beans. That's, well, that's all. I'm There's gonna... two more rooms, but uh, people are in them. Yeah, we got Phil and again, again, Doug, who are staying in those. So that has been it for this week's Open Vault. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the bunk rooms and things as we've been talking about them a lot, I'm sure. And uh, I guess you can now kind of stay in them. Kind of. Right? right. And you, can, you can start to contact me about it. Okay. So yeah. talk to this guy yeah, if you want to stay in these. People are just simply emailing me right now and I'm managing demand and expectations until we get the website up and running proper. Well, hopefully this video doesn't uh, open Josh's email to a floodgate. Ah, uh, it always does. <laughs> <laughs> and that has been all of this week, so I will see you guys next week, and happy wargaming.